Welcome back to another Gunther Diamond Tools video. Uh, today we're going to uh, go over how to change a drill bit with the uh, Gunther drilling system. So this is the same for all systems. It, it's the same for the multi-drill, the hobby, and the pro. Um, we're going to do it on our hobby system today just because that's what I have set up. Right now I have a 1.0 millimeter drill bit um, in the spindle and a 1.0 millimeter counterpart in the uh, magnetic base. Um, and I need to drill some stuff at, with our 2.5 millimeter bit, so I'm just gonna change them for you. I would recommend uh, picking up a 17 millimeter um, wrench uh, because that's what the, uh, the chuck of the Proxen um, drill press is. And today I'm using a pair of Leatherman, um, but a small pair of pliers or a small pair of channel locks will work just fine. Um, you take your 17 millimeter wrench and grab onto the uh, nut at the, at, the, at the chuck end of the drill press. And then I'm gonna grab the um, textured portion of the, the drill bit, the, the brass portion or the brass colored portion. And I'm going to turn it to the left to loosen, you know, um, and just unscrew it. I pull out the drill bit and the ejector needle because these ejector needles are specific for um, each drill bit. And then I'm going to grab the counterpart and again, just loosen it and unscrew it. Take my 2.5 millimeter drill bit with the ejector needle already in it and insert it into the drilling spindle and there you'll, you'll feel some resistance. This ejector needle is spring loaded. There's a spring in there so you can, you can see that resistance. When I have it in my drill bit and then insert into the spindle, you'll see that it hits that spring. There's a little bit of resistance that you have to push through and then turn until those threads catch. And once they catch you, just screw it up, tighten it up, and then come in and give it a good tightening with the, with the Leatherman. Um, you don't need to put all your muscle into it. You just want to make sure that it's not going to come loose while you're drilling. And then the same for the counterpart. Just put it into the metal insert and tighten it down. Make sure they're lined up. Right now, this is a little short because my 1.0 millimeter drill bit is uh, shorter than my standard 2.5 millimeter drill bit. This distance right here is shorter. So I like to have my drill stop set to zero when these two points meet. So right now my drill stop's reading eight millimeters. So what I'm gonna do is, um, there's a hand crank on this side of the Proxen drill press I'm going to loosen the top two bolts and use the hand crank to raise the head and then lower the, uh, the arm all the way. So that's as low as it'll go. And then I use the hand crank on the side to lower it until the two touch. And I lower it just enough so that um, the drill bit takes the weight of the head of the drill press. And then I tighten these upper two bolts. Make sure everything is good and snug. And then I make double check that these are flush. I think I need to do a slight adjustment. That looks pretty good. There you are, ready to drill. Thanks for watching.